Hey, a lot of the smart rings here. Ultra Human has confirmed a new generation of its smart ring called the Ultra Human Ring Pro. The trademark is already registered, it may bring NFC payments, new sensors and redesign look. So let's get started. Let's be honest, Alta Human is now under strong pressure to release a new generation of its ring. The reasons are clear. It's been two years since the launch of the current model, the Alta Human Air. A previous one, by the way, Air 1, not sure if you remember. Also, the reputation of Air version has been hurt by frequent complaints and quality issues with the some units. On the plus side, Alta Human replaces faulty rings without any trouble. And most importantly, due to a patent dispute in the US, which temporarily halted sales in that market. What is the context? In October 2025, the US International Trade Commission ruled that Ultra Human had infringed on a patent held by Aura Health. Specifically, it was US patent number. 1186817 by the way, which describes the international structure of a smart ring, how sensors, the battery and electronics are layered inside the ring's body. The result, a ban on the sale and import of the Alta Human Ring Air in the US. This was of course a significant issue for Alta Human especially since the company even operates its own factory in Texas. However, Alter Human responded basically immediately by announcing the development of a new ring design that would not fall under the disputed patent. According to their blog, the new ring design is already in development and will be launched in the US as soon as possible. I also find trademark. What did the Alter Human Ring Pro trademark reveal? Alter Human Healthcare filled a trademark application for Alter Human Ring Pro on July 29, 2025, about three months after Aura Health filled its lawsuit. The timing suggests the company reacted quickly to the situation and started working on a new model that could bring it back to US market. A key clue comes from the trademark filling itself submitted under class 9. The document explicitly mentions software for contactless transaction via mobile and wearable devices. In other words, maybe contactless payments. This is a feature that current model lacks of course and one that could become a key differentiator for the pro generation, setting it apart from the premium rings like Aura, Samsung or Rincon. Contactless payments and NFC based, uh, based for example car unlocking have been among the most requested features for the Aura ring for one year ago. So this move by Ultra Human could turn out to be a very smart one. So what I did, I prepared a summary of the most likely features the new model Ultra Human Pro will offer, based on available clues, the current situation and also the trends in variable tech. Let's have a look. First one is uh, with likelihood very high because the new internal layout due to Aura's patent uh, is neat just for Ultra Human to redesign for the US market. I also believe that the new version will have slimmer profile, I mean in terms of width, because this is just too much after two years after the launch, because let's say Aura 4 or Ringcon or OmniRing is much more better in the terms of width. Also, the NFC payments uh, somehow, let's say, confirmed by the trademark. It's not for sure, but it would be a real differentiator, differentiator and a strong response to the community demand. I believe the PPG optical sensors should be improved. Also, I would expect better later battery life. Let's have a look at Rincon. More than one week is no issue. 
power plugs this is my pure speculation but i would say that in pro version maybe some paid modules in the power plugs for example for cycle or ovulation pro or cardio availability adaptability sh could be involved in the pro version without additional payments manufacturing in the us and texas that should that is very high uh, in terms of likelihood and i believe or i'm afraid that the price for pro version can be higher than the current Altair Human Air. So what is the summary? The Altair Human Ring Pro isn't just a response to the patent blockade, it's expected to be a major step forward in terms of independence, improved accuracy, I believed, reduced, let's say, error rates or new rings replacement and maybe new functionality especially payments. The Ultra Human Ring Pro is anticipated to be launched around the turn of 2024, 5 and 2026. So, what do you think? Does it make sense to you? What's on your wish list? Thank you for your comments and cheers. And don't feel like I'm waiting for the new version. This Black Friday you can get the Ultra Human Ring Air at the biggest discount ever, which might also be a strong hint that the next generation model is just around the corner. The offer is valid from November 20 to December 2nd, 25% off using my discount link. Thanks.